Examining Common Core Standards for Grades 11 and 12, ELA Literacy Standard 2A. Introduce a topic. Organize complex ideas, concepts, and information so that each new element builds on that which precedes it to create a unified whole. Include formatting, graphics, and multimedia when useful to aid in comprehension. I was worried. I knew he wouldn't be back for years, and I didn't know how to make it without him. I don't want to be a singer when I grow up, but I do want to make a difference. My grandfather taught him everything he knows, so that he can show it to me, and I can go and teach the next generation. Well, first of all, this is oriented towards a published book. I came from the world of publishing into teaching, okay. um, and in that, you never write for an audience of one, you know, ever. And the editor and publishers are there to support you because once they enter into the publishing project that you're on, they have no incentive for it to fail. So they're helping you satisfy that audience, and that's the same premise that the class operates under. This project personifies the essential nature of the Common Core 11th and 12th grade writing standard 2A. Recognizing this project's organization of complex ideas and concepts into an aesthetically pleasing uniform whole, it serves as a true model of excellence. I have this, uh, like, when you do books with kids, you hear kids say, this is, they say the sentence, this is gonna be in the book, with all sorts of different tones of voice, different punctuation, like, they'll hold someone else's work up and be like, this is going to be in the book? You know what I mean? Um, and I'm like, I know. That's why you need to step in now. That's a goal, to make a community that, um, where, where really this is a totally effective team working together. And that anytime you see an individual's work, what you're really seeing is an individual standing on the shoulders of a whole bunch of other people. So we always need covers, so I have to get them started designing covers and like thinking of how you use the language of visual media to communicate. As I looked at the colorful book that had been laid in front of me, I couldn't help myself from being totally mesmerized by the front cover. I learned how to appreciate the things I have and be grateful that I had a mother that cared for me. Moving from city to city constantly and being gone from your family for long periods of time, sometimes not having enough money to send home, this was and still is the life of a migrant worker. Quality has been sacrificed for price so customers keep returning, and in a way it's killing them. What would the world be like if we didn't have people who risked their lives and rose above the occasion to fight these diseases? I don't know how you can do any kind of like educational work if you don't know where the person is starting. Well, the point of this is to value who they are. Looking at the hopeful animals after just waking up from surgery will give me the inspiration I need to become a great vet. If I try to succeed long enough and have passion in everything I do, I really can do anything. All the voices singing in unison, all shouting the same thing. An adrenaline rush fills your body. You feel as if something else was controlling your every move. That one kick changes everything. But look at me now. I defy gravity. As young adults, one of our most important roles in society is to mature into reputable and responsible people. But this is a difficult task to accomplish on our own. We are all very much influenced by the icons around us. And what those icons represent to us is an important window into who we may become. Thank you.